This is hopefully a short video about how to create a design for the Tang Nano FPGA board. It's going to be a very simple design. Uh, basically, when you press a button on the board, an LED will come on. When you release the button, the LED will turn off. Let's take a look at the Tang Nano schematic to uh, see what we've got here. And these are the push buttons on the board. And when you press the button, the IO pin to the input pin to the FPGA is pulled low. When you release the button, the uh, pin is pulled high. And these are the LEDs. This is RGB LED over here. We'll use one segment of that, the, the green segment. And when you pull this pin low, then the LED turns on. And when you drive the pin high, the LED will turn off. So what we'll do is just have the FPGA do a simple thing where it observes, it observes the uh, input pin from the button and just transfers that value over to the output pin that drives the uh, green LED. So when the button is pushed, the low will be driven on to here and that will turn the, R the green LED on. And when the button is released, the uh, high level will be sent back over here and the LED will turn off. So let's go ahead and get started. We'll double click on the Gowan software. That brings us up and we'll start a new project. And say OK on that. We're going to call this LED button. Now we're going to have to select the device and we're using a GW1N FPGA and the actual device is a GW1N-1 because it has one uh, about a thousand uh, lookup tables in it and the package is a QFN48 on the Tang Nano board and there are two options here and the speed grade I think on the Tang Nano board is the C6 so we're going to head, go ahead and select that one and that's the device we're going to use. So let's go into that, uh, how we're going to finish our project setup. Now we have to go ahead and uh, design the logic that's going to go into the FPGA. And there are basically two files we have to generate. One is the Verilog file that describes the design and the other is a constraints file, a physical constraints file that will assign the I.O. from the Verilog to the actual physical pins of the FPGA. So here we'll start off with the Verilog file, like this, and we'll call it also LED button. And now let's see if I can type in the Verilog without making a mistake. Module LED button, it's going to have one input which we're going to call btn underscore i. And that's not necessary to have that underscore i on there. It just helps me to keep straight what an input is and what an output is. And we'll have one output, which we'll call LED O. Again, that underscore O keeps it straight for me. And let's see. Right there is one statement just a simple assignment statement where the LED output is driven by whatever value is brought in on the button input and end module then I'll save the file okay now uh, the next file I'll need is a physical constraints file and so I'm going to add another file, physical constraints file. Again, just call it LED button. And these file names are, are kind of arbitrary. I'm, I'm just picking them all to be the same name as a project because I just don't want to bother f figuring out other uh, appropriate names for them. Now we're going to go ahead and edit that. But before we do that, we have to know where our pins are connected. So. I'm going to open up this spreadsheet that I created a while ago and I, I talked about it uh, on the Tang Nano user uh, blog and it just shows 
what pins of the FPGA are assigned to various items on the Tang Nano board, like the buttons over here and the RGB LED over here. And we can see that the green LED segment is attached to pin number 16. And push button A over here is attached to pin number 15. So we're going to go ahead and make our physical constraints file using that information. And that is done like this. IOLOC uh, button button I is 15 and IOLOC O is pin 16. Okay, and that's all we have to do there. So we'll go ahead and save that. Now we have to uh, go ahead and compile the design. Uh, just before we do that, let's take a look at the hierarchy. And we can see that there's no real hierarchy in this design. It's got a, a single unit called LED button, uh, and that's it. Uh, but that's the top level design. Uh, that's, that's the top level module for the design. We, we'll need that here. Let's go ahead in our process and we're going to set up this to use the Gowan synthesizer instead of the Simplify Pro it's because uh, otherwise you'll have to have a Simplify Pro license installed and I've just installed the, the Gowan synthesis uh, um, license alone and don't have the Simplify Pro here. So, go and synthesis will be, you know, quite adequate for our needs here. And it needs me to type in the top level module name so that it knows where to start doing the synthesis. And that's all we need to do there. And we're going to be using System Verilog 2017. It's not really that important what you choose here. That'll be fine. And so we say OK on that. And now I'm just going to go ahead and double click place and route, and that's going to run the synthesis and the place and route software. And you can see that it's gone and put a green check mark by each of these processes, so that means it did the place and route. And that's really uh, the, the you know major part of the of the design right there is it's compiled it into the FPGA and, and made a, a bitstream for it. Now we have to download that bitstream into the Tang Nano board. So to do, the, to do that, it, go to Program Device and just double click that and pull this up here. There's one uh, FPJ that we're, um, it just lists the FPJ that we're targeting for this and we can do some configuration if needed. We're going to load the bitstream into the SRAM of the FPJ. There's no need to go ahead and program that into the um, the flash. So we're just going to put it in the SRAM. And if power is ever interrupted to the Tang Nano board, then it will lose this design. But that's okay because it's not really that important a design. And it's faster to program the SRAM than it is the flash. So that's all we need to do there. Now all we do is say click the program pin and it goes ahead and downloads it. Now you can test it. Okay, here's the Tang Nano board. It's got the uh, FPGA design loaded into it that we uh, just programmed into it. And just to demonstrate it, I'm going to press the button and LED comes on. Release the button, LED off. On, off, on, off. How exciting. But it does show that the, uh, the design we, we made and downloaded uh, is, uh, is correct and does what we wanted it to do. And really that's uh, the first step in, in getting anything to work is, is figuring out what the design flow is and, and making sure that you can complete that successfully. That's the end of this video. Hope you enjoyed it.